But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to make today's video. We're gonna talk about the Stranger Things Battle Pass, which now has all its skins announced and has a trailer and everything, we're gonna look at that, which I think is really exciting, it's really cool. But it's a bit hard for me to get hyped about this when Hyrus has made another decision today that I find very questionable, but that out of respect for the surrounding situation, I also don't want to comment on further than that. So we're not going to talk about that and we're going to focus on the battle pass, but just excuse me for maybe not bringing the same level of excitement that I would have brought to this otherwise. So let's first roll the trailer once. Okay, so how cool is that Hopper skin? I love that. You guys know that I don't really like playing Apollo at all, but I, I think I might have to play Apollo for this. Also, I want to say at this point that no, I did not look at the leaks before I made my predictions yesterday. I know it comes across like that, seeing how many gods I actually guessed correctly, or at least had as one of the options, but I, I really did not. I was very surprised when I looked at the leaks afterwards and found out how many gods I actually got right or close to. The only one that I was completely off on was Sylvanas. But it's honestly a very positive surprise to me. I like that Hyrus has gone with the options that seem relatively obvious at least, or seem like gods that I would consider good fits, because that means that they will probably be good matches overall. And I also think that Sylvanas is actually a very good fit. I just didn't have it on my radar because I was so set on Cthulhu, with the whole size being such an important factor. Now our version of the Mind Flayer is going to be a little bit tiny, of course, because Sylvanas isn't that gigantic, but I think it still works. I think it still looks cool, even though it doesn't look like the massive Mind Flayer that they have in Stranger Things itself. Also, in case you didn't pay close attention to the background or missed that small text at the end, the Upside Down Arena map will be introduced, so that will be replacing our current arena, so that'll be in Stranger Things style for a while. And it seems like you will even see the bigger version of the Mind Flayer in the background of that arena kind of towering above everything. It also adds some other neat details from the show, such as, for example, the portal to the Upside Down, which is the minion portal, or the Christmas lights with the alphabet on the wall. Now let's talk a little bit about the characters and their abilities, starting with Scylla. Scylla was a bit of a surprise fit for Eleven. I did say this is one of the options, especially because she's young as well, but I also thought that her kit was maybe not the best fit for Eleven necessarily, because she isn't really one for casting massive spells as such. We can see that her one now utilizes telekinesis to shoot forward rocks across the ground that go towards the enemy, and we can see that her three actually seems to spawn a door for her to travel to. I think this is a very creative way to implement some aspects from the show in a way that also fits with Scylla, though I'm not quite sure what they will actually do for the two that's kind of missing here. Now initially I was wondering why they didn't show off for ultimate, because that's obviously something that's also very interesting, but I think they actually are. I think it's just not that obvious. If we look later in the trailer, where Scylla is fighting Sylvanos as the Mind Flayer, and he's his ultimate, then she starts floating in the air, and I first thought that this was just her animation for being knocked up, which I thought was a pretty crazy animation just for a knock-up effect, but I think this is actually her going into her ultimate, because it doesn't actually look like she's being CC'd. It also seems that the animation for her going into the air starts slightly before the Sylvanas ult, so I think this is going to be her ult. I'm not sure what the ult projectile will look like, it might just be a massive boulder every time she attacks with it and gets a kill, or it could be some variation with tentacles or something, but it will have to be something that travels from her own body, because otherwise the ability would just be significantly less telegraphed, I think. Next we have Bakasura as the Demogorgon. 
Again, this is something that I think most people expected. I think that was the most likely choice. Though I am surprised that they actually went with this relatively tall model for him, which I think seems to be a fair bit taller than Naon Bakasura. We don't really have a good point of reference because he's constantly moving. Maybe he's just really skinny and the same height. I'm not sure. But yeah, that part we don't know about. We only really see his leap with the very classic Bakasura leap sound as well. I found that very recognizable with its own touch, basically. And everything else hasn't been shown. But then again, I don't expect the two or three to have received massive changes. They're probably going to be very similar to Naon Bakasura. There's not really much that you can change about them. And then for the ultimate, I suspect we will see some demo dogs being spat out. Next, they're showing the two skins, and we can see here that only 11 out of these two will get a prestige track skin. This is what I expected. I said the creatures from the upside down might not get one or might just get a recolor. So yeah, no surprise there really. There's not really much you can do with them anyways, and I think it's good that they put the effort into other things uh, of these characters instead of other animations. Second variation of 11, on the other hand, is pretty cool in my opinion, so I think it's worth grinding for. And then of course we have Hopper as Apollo, who honestly might be my favorite of these skins. I know that sounds a little bit absurd considering he's like the most normal person of this whole thing, and his kit will probably be relatively uninteresting compared to the other ones, but... I don't know, it's just the vibe that Hopper in general gives off, and the fact that this is actually a good skin for Apollo. I really don't like Apollo's default model, and I think the Hopper model looks way better on him. This is probably the closest thing to a remodel we'll get for a while, unless this is maybe the base for a remodel at a later point. One can only hope. But what's even better than Apollo's Hopper default skin is the prestige one with him as a private investigator. I absolutely love this one, this is just the best skin for Apollo, period. The whole thing is kind of funny because I don't really see Hopper as a dual wielding gunslinger, but I guess for the sake of Smite it'll work. As for its abilities, the 1 and 3 will probably be relatively default. The ult almost seems like it's similar to some of the other Apollo skins where he has a chopper. I'm not sure if that's going to be exactly the same thing or if there's something different about that one, but where I expect the biggest differences would be in the 2 because I don't think he'll exactly sing. What he'll do instead, I don't know. And then last but not least, we have Sylvanas as the Mind Flayer. Now here we see the ultimate with all the spikes coming from the ground as obviously the biggest ability of his kit. I am assuming that we will see something similar for his one. And then for the grab, I imagine we won't see all too many flashy animations either. What is going to be interesting is what's going to happen with his two, with his heal effect, because a normal heal would not exactly be something that would feel fitting, I think. Overall, I'm definitely excited and I think even people that don't watch Stranger Things may enjoy some of these skins because I think they will just have cool, unique animations or just look cool. Like Hopper, for example. I just wanted to say that again. And outside of that, on the same game show, we also finally get to see an Elden Ring trailer and we get a trailer for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. That's something I'm looking forward to. With that, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, click like and subscribe, or I will finish this text another time, because right now I just want to get this video out ASAP. More Smite info tomorrow. Duke Sloth, out.